Hi, in this screencast, we look at how Sys161 boots your kernel. The program OS161GCC uses a custom linker script while linking the kernel together. This script can be found under kern, arc, mips, conf, ld script. However, instead of jumping straight to answers, we will be walking you through how we acquired this information. This will also teach you a few tricks on how to search through the OS161 code base. To really trace back how the kernel boots, we have to do a little bit of intuitive backtracking. We know that at some point, the menu that you see here is displayed to us. We start with this small string for menu, which the kernel seems to print at some point. Let's find out which function actually prints this. So what we're trying to do here is we look for the string for menu through the kernel code base, searching through all files recursively. As you can see here, grep returns this one file, kern, kern include prompt.h, and it also uh, tells us there are, there, there are two binary files that match this. Let's get rid of these binary results by adding the flag capital I to grep. All right, so now let's look at kern include prompt.h, which has this string. As you can see here, the string is being defined as a macro with the name of kernel prompt. Given that this file does not give us any further information, let's look at what, what piece of code uses this macro. From the results, we see that kernel prompt is being used in kern main menu.c. Let's open up this file. We search for kernel prompt to jump to the place where this macro is actually appearing in the code. And we see here that kernel prompt is actually being printed out. But given that our goal is to trace how the kernel boots, what we really need to focus on is the function with which calls this kprintf. In, in this case, it's the function named menu. So now we need to look for what function calls menu. Let's try and do this. So searching for menu gives us quite a few results. Some of these are false positives because some of these we don't care about basically because they are not the function that we are looking for. However, we see that the function we are looking for is actually here. It's being called in kern main main.c. As we can see, menu is being called within a function named kmain. So let's try looking for kmain. Oops. kmain. Interestingly, there seems to be no place where kmain is being invoked. Now this is probably because of the string that I'm searching for, which includes this bracket. So let's try and get rid of that and see where kmain is being invoked. Alright, so it looks like kmain is being invoked from a piece of assembly here, uh, which is kern arc sys161 mains start.s. So let's try and open up that file. So as before, we search for the string kmain, which takes us immediately to the line where, we, where it's being called. And we see that this, this piece of assembly, which is probably very early on during boot given that it's trying to call into the first c function we have is appearing in this file under this label right okay so let me try and walk you through what some of these uh, mean so this this line signals that the, the symbol underscore underscore start should be global, which basically means that it should be visible to the linker. 
this line signifies that the symbol start is of type function and this signals the entry point into this symbol start. This line here is just a label as normal labels are in C and we see that the start function begins by setting up a stack frame. This stack frame is being used for the kernel and here we see that there, there is some ASCII art about how the memory is laid out in uh, Sys161 and it goes about moving if you read through the comments you will find that it goes about trying to copy the boot argument string so that it can set it up when k so that when k main boots it can get the kernel arguments and finally once all this is done we jump to k main all right so what calls start that's the next question so let's try and grep for start as we have grep for other strings up until now We see that there are some results from user land which we will ignore because we are focusing on how the kernel boots up. So we focus on these results. And in these results, we have seen through all of these except this one line, which is the LD script itself. So let's quickly open up the LD script. And here in the comments, we clearly see that this script basically tells OS161 GCC how to actually start the kernel and the first line in here is entry start so this sets up the entry point to the kernel to be this function or symbol named start 